Hello, in this presentation we're going to talk about a new feature within QuickBooks Pro 2018, that being the past due stamp on the invoice. As indicated here, the past due stamp will be a stamp that is generated within QuickBooks for those invoices past due, past the due date of the terms of the invoice. It's a fairly straightforward feature, however, there are a few things that we want to take a look at. One, where's that past due going to be at? Two, how can we use that to help us on the processing side, on the bookkeeping side? And three, how does this past due stamp print out and does it print out to our customers if we are printing out an invoice that is past due? And if we wanted to remove that past due stamp, is that possible when we are sending out an invoice that is past due? So we'll take a look at those questions as we go. We are in QuickBooks, we're in the Get Great Guitars practice problem here, and we're going to look for an invoice that is past due and compare and contrast it with an invoice that is not. So first we're going to go into the invoices here, just try to find, we're just going to backtrack to the invoices. Now if we select the back arrow, we're going to go through a series of invoices. Note this one doesn't say, of course, past due. It is not past due. The net 30 terms, the date being in the future in this case. We're working this problem in the future. But we're going to go back. This one has been paid. We see that item here that has been indicated in prior uh, versions of QuickBooks. If we scroll all the way back to the invoice, an invoice that is past due, such as this one, then we would not see that it has been paid. Obviously, it would not have that. And therefore, it would also be past due given the fact that it is past the net 30 terms given the date of the invoice, in this case, 10-11-2016. Uh, so therefore, one, it's past the due date, past 30 days from the invoice, and two, it has not yet been paid. And therefore, we're going to have this past due item show up on this point of the invoice. Now, if we don't do anything else to the default settings, the QuickBooks will put it here, but it will not actually print it when we print the invoice. So it's a good indication for us in that way. Then if we are, as the bookkeepers, entering data, we can easily go into the invoice and have a quick note saying this invoice is past due, telling us that it one, it hasn't been paid, two, it's past the date in a very quick and easy format. If we were to print it, I'm going to go up to the printing here and show a preview. We're going to print... And I'm just going to show the preview. Note that we don't see any indication here or anywhere on the invoice for that past due indication within the invoice. I'm going to close this invoice back out and go back to our QuickBooks. If we would like the past due stamp to be printed out, we can do so. So if we are in the invoice, we would have to go to the, in we're in the main tab within the invoice here. If we were to go to the formatting tab, the second tab over, and customize the data layout. We're going to customize the data layout in the formatting tab. Then we're going to get an item uh, that will show up here. Now, if you're only in the QuickBooks template, it might tell you, hey, you need to copy the template. You can't change the template. And then you'd make a copy of the template and have your customized type of, uh, of invoice. And then you can go down here to the options. We'll then select the basic customization options, basic customization options. And within the basic customization options, we see a check mark for the print past due stamp. So we're going to go ahead and select that print past due stamp. Okay, that's okay. And then we're going to overlap here a bit. So that's what it's telling us. But we have the past due stamp and that should be on the printed form. We will then say okay and see if that is indeed the case. I'm going to say okay here, closing out of that. Once this feature has been set up, we get this nice little option within the invoice. So when we are looking at the invoice, then we have the past due visible on print and email for this invoice, and we can then turn it on and off. So if we click on here, I believe that's going to turn it off. So I believe it is on now. Let's test it. We're going to go up to the print feature up here, and I'm going to go ahead and preview. And see we have that uh, past due right there. So the past due is now being printed. If I was to close this and close that and then toggle this to the to off and then print the invoice preview, 
then it's back off again. So we have a nice little toggle feature to turn it on and off and we have the permanent uh, indication that there is a past due invoice. So how could we use this then? It could be useful if we were going through a report for the receivable reports, for example, and if we were to close this invoice, if I was to go to reports and we're going down to company and receivables and we're in, let's say, the uh, customer balance detail. And in this case, uh, we're looking for Anderson here and we're seeing that these tie out. I see, okay, there's an invoice, there's a payment, there's an invoice, there's payment. Here's an invoice. I'm not seeing a related payment to it. That happens to be the amount due. Hmm. Let's take a look at that at that invoice. That's a pretty old invoice in comparison to everything else and see what's going on. And we get that immediate indication. Well, I don't see that it's been paid and I see that it is indicated that it's past due and we get that immediate feedback then and there. We could send out that e that email immediately or send it to uh, to somebody to uh, check on this or give a call on that. So that's for, for our purposes. Uh, it's going to give that immediate feedback for the uh, for sending them out. It also will send out uh, that information.